Hello everybody. How y'all doing? Well, got a couple things I gotta tell you. First off, sorry I hadn't done any updates on the main channel since I put out the one about the uh, the guide stones in Georgia I've been trying to do stuff seems like every time I do something computer locks up uh, browser quits working no response now I built my own computer I did. And I know a little bit about the software. I know a little bit about what I'm doing. Got enough practice now, I should know. Now, someone made a comment not too long ago. Said, man, if I could open up that many windows on my computer, I'd be, I'd be tickled to death. Because I had like six of them open. I might have had seven. Well, the reason why I can do that is I got 32 gigs of memory. I also have a full core processor. And the computer is about six months old. It might be seven now. Closer, probably closer to seven months old now. Now, this computer is rocket fast, but when you sit there and you try to do some research on the internet and the browser, don't matter which one you use, you can use Windows or Explore or you can use Google or you can use Firefox uh, which that I've used those three now I can't speak for the other ones because I hadn't used them don't trust them don't trust uh, Explore either and I don't trust Google much neither so my computer about about a month ago really went haywire and I got a program that clones it and repairs it or supposed to now I cloned and repaired and it worked until this morning it's been giving me troubles for about a week. I was working until this morning. And it quit. And this time, <coughs> I tried to correct the problem again and clone it to a new drive. Well, it didn't. This time it wiped it out. Completely. And I already had a drive I was working on rebuilding. I had everything done to it except for changing passwords and this and that. Well, after that happened, I had no other choice but to go to using it. Now, the computer is fast, but yet again, the Internet is circling. 
Now I made a video about six, eight, nine months ago. It was about about six months ago, maybe five and a half months ago. I went to Gainesville. Now I got a 150 gig meg upload. Okay. Or was it upload or download? Download speed. Upload is somewhere around 50 gigs. I went to Gainesville. Now listen to this. I had four meg upload. Two meg download. Okay. Different provider. Different city. On not my tower here at home. I was on a laptop. It ain't even a tenth the speed that I got at home. On the internet, 10, maybe 20 times faster than what I got right here, right now. That's no lie. Now, in this state, Comcast has not started throttling. by 300 megs yet. It's coming, just ain't got here yet. But I will say this, I don't care what they tell you they're giving you. When I first got Comcast, I went from DSL to Comcast. And the reason why I left DSL is because DSL was doing exactly the same thing. Started out fast, and it stopped and didn't do nothing. Now I got Comcast. And I started out with uh, 10 gigs up and like 5 gigs down. That worked great for about a year and a half. So I upgraded. 56 gig. 50 gig is what it's supposed to be 50 gig and like 11 down well after I bought my new computer I bought the new computer because I thought well my processor was getting far, too far out of date to keep up with the speed of the internet okay well now, I thought that, so I went and built a brand new computer, brand new, new tower, new hard drive, new computer board, processor, memory. I even built, bought a solid state, uh, a solid state hard drive, and a two gig video card. Super fast one too. Now, back to the story. This morning after my hard drive completely fried, completely went down, I lost everything that was on that drive, all my intros, I gotta remake all of that all over again copy it somehow from one of the other videos or whatever well just a few minutes ago while I'm waiting for updates now I updated this hard drive completely before uh, I did this a month ago when this first started it had all the updates from Windows. 100 and, I think it was 186 updates. I also got a program that I just bought, a new one, or 
I just updated a new, I bought a newer program so I didn't have to install it a different way. I could install it the original way it was supposed to with malware. Well, in, I'd already installed this and updated it twice. After I got all my passwords changed, re-edited, everything op getting to where everything can I can open everything that I had to work with. I says, "Well, I better do a scan on a computer just to make sure everything's okay." Said I needed an update. I said, "Okay, update." Guess what it told me? No, you're not going to update shit. That was what the problem was with the other computer. Why do you reckon that is? Hmm? That's a brand new program. Brand new. Brand new product key. Brand new everything. Brand new hard drive, brand new copy of Windows. The only thing that's the same, the only thing that's the same is the actual tower itself, but all the software is all brand new. Which what that's what makes the computer run, you know that, right? The only other thing that's the same is my IP address. and the internet provider. Now, I showed y'all where everything on my internet or any everything that I've done on uh, ISIS, they have took the ads off of them. Every one of them. Every one. They've even added one. They gave one back because they had to. I'm assuming. I don't guess they had to, but they did. Now I got it back. Now, since I've said all that and you've heard that, now I got some more shit to talk about. Now it's just damn well straight up. Right in your face and right to you. Okay? There's some of you guys out there that want to play games. There is. And you know, it's a damn shame. You got your feelings on your shoulders. Somebody knocked your feelings off your shoulders, pissed you off, and now your pantyhose is all wadded up. Really? You know, I seen a report today that said that by January, if things keeps going the way it's going, there's going to be a million people by January infected with Ebola. Now, do I think that's true? I don't know. I don't. Also seen some other stuff. Uh, the Guidestones. That's another indication of something not being right, isn't it? But yet, we got a bunch of damn little children out there. And I'd say they 25, 8, I'd say even younger than that, eight, anywhere from 18 to 35. 
and they uh, they think they're doing big business and we got another fool out there that wants to wreck democracy well that dumb moron don't have a clue of what direct democracy even is and I just really can't believe that somebody would even actually say that. Direct democracy is 51% mob rule. And what the dumbass also don't understand is he's already got dem <laughs> he's already got democracy. That's what's wrong with this country. That's why nobody gets what they want. That's why you don't get the votes that you want. Like uh, Scotland, it's already been shown. Already been shown. You've seen it in the piles. There was yes marks on the no pile. You saw a woman. You saw a woman actually taking the files said yes and put them in the no pile and it took one and put back in the yes file just one but her no pile was real tall you know we told y'all when, Ob when Obama was running for office that the election then was rigged because it went to another country to get counted electronically. But yeah, y'all still don't believe. Y'all want direct democracy. Sure do. I know a few people that I like on YouTube. I'm not going to mention any names, but one of them likes Obama's health care, and they're a YouTuber. But I'm sorry, folks. This stuff is destroying our country. It's destroying our rights to be free. And you clowns out there that are playing these games, you're stopping all efforts for people to understand the truth. You're stopping all efforts for the things to be right because of jealousy, selfishness, profit. And the other ones out there that are making money on this stuff are getting theirs illegally. I've showed y'all before how I've lost 500 subscribers in one day, multiple times. I watched <clears throat> I watched Dutch Sense lose 5,000 in one day. One day. And me and him both get hit every day with at least a half of what we gained in subscribers to almost three quarters of our subscribers being lost every day. Tattooed Reloaded, my other channel. When I made the video a week ago, or two weeks ago, might have been two weeks ago, but somewhere, somewhere close to that, about two weeks, it went to 
10,319 subscribers. Today, it's 10,252 the last time I logged in. It might be even lower than that now. I don't know. Now, there's not that many people unsubscribing to your channel. Folks, this is done with inside. Just like my view count. Made it to three million. Three times. And it's dropped back. I only got proof of it but once. But I showed it. It stopped doing that. Just like my subscribers. They started showing a gain instead of a retraction. Because I went to 20,000 subscribers, I don't know how many times. And I kept backing up. Now, folks, would I say that there's an insider? Yeah, I would say that there's an insider. And, you know, there's also another little strange thing. And I hate to say this, don't want to say it, but I'm gonna. There's a fella that used to live in Lenore, North Carolina. He had a YouTube channel. And him and Dutch Sense had a fight a long time ago. Let me explain something else to you about Lenore, North Carolina. That's also the data center for the Northeast or for the East Coast at night. And I know at night, most of mine and Dutch's attacks has always come at night. Now, am I saying it's this person? Not exactly. Am I saying that this person has some influence? Yes, I am definitely saying that. And how I'm saying that is he either knows someone or he direct, directly works there. And that's what I'm saying. Now, <clears throat> I've seen two people, two, two people, not just one no more, now it's two. I've seen two YouTube channels. Two. One of them had 50,000 and now is almost at 200,000 subscribers in less than a year. i seen another one. There's a, a hundred and almost 10,000 now. In just a little while too. In just a couple of months, this happened. Am I mad about it? No, I'm proud of it for them. I, I am happy for them. But is there any reason why those two particular people that actually knows the person that I'm talking about and are friends with would gain that many subscribers? And the two other people that's had that fight lose theirs. Hmm. And I also just want to add one other thing. Just about two weeks ago now, just before this big doo doo went on again, this all popped up again. This person surfaced yet again. And every time this happens, every time, a big doo-doo mess pops up. It does. And if you really want to know the truth, folks, I could care less. I didn't do nothing to the guy. He done it to himself. He made all the accusations. He made up all the lies. 
Man, I didn't do none of that. I just making other people aware of his lies. Just like this other clown's doing today. Same lies. Just a new twist. And using somebody else. This time. To do the same thing. What I don't understand is those same people I'm talking about they keep getting subscribers. Doesn't matter who they are or what they are. And you know what's really really the freakiest thing about it all over this is it's all been a bounce off of somebody else. And the same person each time. You know, that's almost a damn shame. It's almost a damn shame that it's always the same person that they bounce off of. And several more have tried to do the same thing. And everybody that I'm talking about hates it but me and Dutch are friends hate it why is that? you know we don't have time for this bullshit folks some of you guys get in here and you talk your shit you know your shit right and then you turn right around and fuck shit up. You'll be going straight down the path and then you'll turn right around and muddy the water with some kind of fear mongering horse shit. And then you get somebody spanks you a little bit about it and you fix the problem. But still, you know, I don't care if anybody uses my stuff. I don't. I, I I had Remix on my channel forever. I did. I still have it on there, but it don't work. I don't know why. That's Google YouTube. I, I don't know. Don't care. It, it, it's a damn shame. That these same people that I'm talking about like your information and won't even help you with the credit sometimes. Now, one of these people is pushing ISIS, and I know that they know that there's a corporation out there named ISIS in the United States, but they're pushing the fear of it. Now, there's everything out there in the world that leads us into a corporation or back to a corporation of some form, some fashion, leading back to the CIA and the federal government. Now, wouldn't it be great if everybody saw the name of ISIS don't you understand that the reason why they changed it from ISIS to ISIL to start with is because of the documents that I found on ISIS to start with wouldn't it be good if we just pushed the hell out of it so everybody out there would know Instead of just us just sitting here with the same old bullshit, pushing the same old shit, that they're going to come over here and cut off people's heads. Which we done proved, even those particular the guys that I'm talking about, even they've proved that this shit is fake. Wouldn't it be better if we got in here and told everybody the same story, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, instead of putting a little twist on it to get another dollar? I, you know, the dollars are great. But God damn it, can't we do it the right way?
from my cold dead hands abolish corporate government. And if this ain't enough truth and enough proof for y'all, what I just told y'all throughout this whole video, then I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sorry for myself. Because it don't just hurt you, it hurts me too. If I can't get through to y'all about being free, then y'all aren't the only ones that loses. I lose too. So I blame me. I'm doing my best to get the truth out. Are you doing your best to not fear monger, muddy the water, and troll somebody just because you think it's fun? From my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to all of you. Y'all all have a great day now you're here. Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Daniel Emotion and Stumble Upon. Please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.